All right, doing another Q&A video. Um, I actually took one earlier today, and for some reason it wouldn't upload. Um, so hopefully this one works. Um, at the same time, I'll just be kind of fucking around with this. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Lance says, what's your favorite Atari song? Um, I only really listen to one Atari's album. Um, which is so long Astoria, and I do like the title track a lot. Um, the saddest song is also really good, um, but I'll probably have to go with the title track on that one. Um, I wish I liked their other music more, but it's just none of it's really as good as that album. So I don't know. Um, Ian says, "What's your opinion on the new song by Attack Attack called No Defeat? Um, it does have one of my new like." most favorite singers in it. He's actually the singer of I'm Abomination. <clears throat> His name's Phil Droyer. Um, he's wicked good. Um, but, I mean, when it comes to Attack Attack, I mean, the guitars are just super boring. They're really uh, predictable. I mean, they're just t like the same like type of shit that you always hear all the time. And um, the guitars for I'm Abomination, if he did like guitar in it too, I mean it would be a hell of a lot better because he's so technical and he's really good. Um, but, I don't know, No Defeat doesn't really do anything for me, I just think it's kind of boring. Um, but I am kind of interested to hear uh, Phil doing some screaming because I've never heard him scream before, so I'll still check it out because I like Phil so much, but I really don't like Attack Attack. <laughs> Um, Ferenc asks if I have any guilty pleasure songs that I'm uh, embarrassed to like. His is Torn by Natalie Imbruglia. I, I think that's how you say her name. Um, I don't know. I'm not really ashamed to like any certain type of song. I mean, what's the point? I mean, everybody likes some sort of music, so I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, I do like Hollow Notes a lot. <laughs> it is definitely something most people wouldn't expect me to like um any like older pop music is usually pretty good like i've been playing vice city a lot lately and i'll just put it on like the uh um <clears throat> i'll put it on like the 80s um like pop radio all the time i'll get like michael jackson or something on there you know just stuff like that um the stuff you wouldn't really expect i guess um Jack asks, do I listen to the story so far? Um, a lot of people ask me that. I just don't like them. I mean, I've tried a few times listening to different songs of theirs because so many people ask me um, if I like them, and I just don't see them as anything really special, and until they really have a song that impresses me, it's really not going to do anything for me. Let's see, it was the same exact thing for Blink, and it was the same thing for New Found Glory. I mean, I've, I heard them a bunch of times, and I really didn't think anything about them until they had one song that really grabbed me and um, made me want to check them out. I mean, for Blank, it was first date, and the song itself isn't really all that amazing, but the video was freaking hilarious, and it made me want to check them out more. So, I mean, I don't know. For bands like The Story so far and other bands in that genre, I mean, they really have to, they really have to try something different for me to really... I don't know, I'll give them a shot, I guess. Something that really sets them apart, because so many of the bands just sound the same. Uh, Max Von Hagen says, What band, in your opinion, is the most overrated band of all time? And that seemed to get so much attention, but in your opinion, don't deserve it. Um, I'll probably get flamed for this one, but I can't fucking stand Guns N' Roses. I absolutely hate them. Um, some of the songs themselves aren't that bad, and a, f a few of them are pretty talented, but I feel like Axl Rose ruins every single song that he is a part of because he's just a fucking joke, and he's a terrible singer, his dancing is stupid, and he's ruined the credibility of that band altogether. If they had like an actual good singer, I'd probably like the band because I'm really into 80s metal and rock and stuff like that, so if he was never part of that band... Who knows if they'd even be famous, but I don't know. I feel like I'd like them a lot more. Um, Landon says, when's the last time I had pizza? Um, I don't know. 
out a couple days ago. Um, I'd probably have pizza at least like once a week, probably. Um, it was really good too. It was a personal size. Um, I actually took a picture of it, which was pretty funny. Um, it just looked really good because I ordered a chicken, bacon, feta, and green pepper pizza, and I didn't look. I didn't look in the box until I got it home, and it was covered in green peppers. And I was I was okay with it, <laughs> so didn't matter to me. It was really good. Bruce asks. How many hours a week do I... Oh, what the hell happened? Uh, asks me... Uh, how many hours a week do I typically play? And what's my favorite tuning to play in? Um, I don't know. I usually play maybe like an hour a day. It really depends on the day, though. Um, especially if I work early in the morning. Um, because I'll get home and I'll most likely fall asleep when I get home. Um, so, I mean, anywhere from like 7 to... 10 hours a week probably um, other days I definitely make up for not playing as much on other days um, uh -huh. and what my favorite tuning to play in I really do like um, like drop D uh, style either like drop D or um, or is it like drop C sharp like anything where um, this one will be tuned down <laughs> so I can do stuff like that. I mean, it's just a fun way to play. I really, uh, I like being able to do, like, the standard, uh, like, power chords, but then have, like, just being able to do, like, a bar power chord. So stuff like that I, I definitely like a lot more. Um, and actually, when I recorded my own music a few years ago, which I haven't really done in a while, um... A lot of it was in drop D or something similar to that. Um, I know I'm going to get asked for this. I haven't recorded anything in a while, mainly because I just haven't really been in the mood to, and I don't have anything to record with anymore. I mean, the stuff that I used to use was not that great quality, and I bought ended up buying new stuff, which I'm actually just selling now because it was just so over overly complicated, and it was just a pain in the ass. So, uh uh, Slawek, I guess that's how you say your name, says, Can you play rhythm while talking and singing at the same time? Um, I can. I mean, it's really not that difficult, depending on the song. If it's like stuff like Blank or Green Day, I mean, it's really not that difficult. But there are certain, certain, I guess, rhythms that are more difficult to play um, while singing. I'm certainly not as good as, like, um, James Hetfield of Metallica who can play ridiculous rhythms and pretty much all downstroking and um, and sing whole songs. I mean, that guy is insane. Um, but I don't really like singing anyway because um, I'm just not really a singer. Um, let's see. Then, oh, and how did I learn it? Um, really, it's just practice. I mean, that's the only way you're going to get good at anything. Gabe asks if I would do some Fall Out Boy covers or all-time low covers. Um, Fall Out Boy, I mean, I've done a couple covers of theirs. I, the only ones I've really done were from from Under the Cork Tree because that's the only album I like, and I'm pretty sure I did... Um, I don't remember the name of the song. Um, I don't know. I did, I did something because this guy uh, that I was, you know, I guess, kind of friends with from this message board asked me to do it. Um, and that was a couple of years ago. I don't even remember if it's still up or not. But that was from a different album. I'm not sure exactly which one it was. Um, but their new stuff does not do anything for me. I just think it's boring. Um, so, I mean, if I if I ended up doing any other of their covers, it would probably be from, from Under the Court Tree that I didn't already do. And All Time Low, I, I don't like them at all. I think they're just not very good. So, um... I mean, not to really diss the bands that you guys all like, but they don't do anything for me. Uh, let's see. Slawek asks again, do I like Title Fight or Touche Amore? I've heard of both of them. I've never heard a single song from them, though. Um, so I can't really comment on that. Um, Ray Mundo asks, why don't I cover NoFX? They have some great songs. I don't listen to them. I 
I really don't like Fat Mike. I think his singing is awful. Um, and the songs themselves just are boring. I mean, they don't do anything for me. I mean, you have to have, for me to listen to a song, you have to really have something that uh, draws me in. I mean, you either have to have a really good singer, um, really cool guitar parts, something like that. I mean, if you're just like a straight up punk band, I mean, it, there's very little chance that I'm going to like it. So, I mean, the reason I like stuff like Blink so much is because, I mean, they're great songwriters for one, way better than NoFX. And they actually, well, at least in the early days, they had really fun guitar riffs that were fun to play and made me want to play guitar. So, I mean, it's different. So, Gabe asks, do I know how to play any other instruments besides a guitar and bass? No. Um, I wish I could play piano or drums, but I don't know. I, I'd really put most of my time into guitar. Um, Alex asks, what state do I live in? I live in Massachusetts. It's snowing like crazy. Or it has been all day, and it's a pain in the ass. Um, but, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Um, James McCafferty asks, Why haven't I covered Cacophony? And I'm pretty sure I did. But I'm going to double check. Cacophony. If I can fucking spell it. Jesus. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Um, but for most older Blink songs, if it's from Cheshire Cat or um, Buddha, I mean, I don't really see a huge reason for me to cover it because I don't really like them either. And I'm definitely going to put a lot more effort into a song that um, to cover if I like the song. Um, um, so I don't know. I, I just don't really like it all that much. I, th I thought I covered it. I guess I didn't. So um, he says, how did I practice guitar in earlier years? Specifically, how did you manage learning the theory with scales, chords, songs? I mean, I don't really know much about theory or scales or whatever. I just, I tried just learning different songs all the time. That's all I ever really did. I just liked the way a song sounded. I didn't really think it would be like out of reach. So I just either learned with like tabs or more recently I would just learn by ear. And um, it's definitely an easier way to learn. I mean, you learn a lot of stuff from uh, learning new songs, like as techniques especially. I mean, um, if I try and learn like a video game song or something like that, um, I definitely learn a lot about like different. Um, what was I gonna say? Like different, um, like chord arrangements and just like different, like little melodies and stuff that just work differently than what I'm used to. I mean, that's how I learn differently. So, um, Glenn asks, "What's my favorite Blink, Angels and Airwaves, Plus 44, and Boxcar song?" Um, Blink. It's probably not now, um, but I do really like "Going Away to College." Um, Angels and Airwaves. It's probably a tie between the Adventure. And um, love like rockets. I do like those a lot. Um, for for plus forty four. I mean, for a long time it was Lillian. It is a really good song. Um, but I think over the last couple years I've really grown to like one fifty five a bit more. Um, and boxcar racer. Um, I don't know. I mean, lately I've really been getting into elevator a lot more. It is a really great song. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I could say there is as well. I mean, that song I, is just freaking perfect. I mean, it's kind of like Blink's uh, After Midnight where it's like everything about it is just perfect. I mean, it's really hard to, it's really hard to say, but I'll, I'll probably go with either there is or elevator. Um... So I got another batch of questions here. Bruce asks Fender or Gibson. Um, it really depends on my mood, I guess. Um, neither right now. Um, but I'd say for quality, Gibson's definitely better. I don't think I'll ever find a Fender that's like better put together than uh, my Les Paul. Um, 
but I do love the playability of like my strats. So, I mean, it's all give or take. Um, Ash asks if you could tour with any band, who would I pick? Um, probably Paramore, just so I could look at Haley the whole time, because that'd be fun. Um, they do have some fun songs too. Um, you found Glory would be fun. Um, Blank, obviously. So anything like that. Um, he also asks, do I like Simple Plan? No. Um, I used to listen to him back in like maybe like freshman year when I was still listening to like Good Charlotte and Bowling for Soup. But I all those types of bands that really outgrew. The only reason I probably started listening to Simple Plan anyway is because Mark Hoppus was in. Uh, I'd do anything, and that was the only album I liked anyway. So, um, favorite pedal that I own? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't use a lot of pedals. Um, I really like having the noise suppressor, the Boss noise suppressor, because uh, it's a pain in the ass having something that um, having something that hums, especially if you're at like a high. Um, a high like volume or something and you're just getting like tons of buzzing and shit so I mean it's it's great to be able to just get rid of that um, so um, Stefano asks if I like the Ramones um, they're just one of those bands where nothing they do impresses me I think like the singing's really bad I mean it's all really dated too I mean it's all older stuff I mean it's kinda like the Clash or um, I don't know, just like any older like punk band, like I never get into bands like that because I mean they're sure they started it all, I mean, but nothing about it really draws me into wanting to listen to them. I mean, it doesn't really do much for me. Um, Dylan asks, "What kind of movies do I watch besides porn?" And um, none actually. It's all porn. So there you go. Uh, but all serious, um, I, I mostly watch comedies. Um, if I'm watching movies, I actually watch a lot more TV shows than I do movies. Um, I download a lot of like older shows. Um, I just rewatched all of Even Stevens, which was a great show. I just watched all three seasons of that. Um, it's gonna sound pretty lame, but I'm watching Lizzie McGuire right now. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm not ashamed. It's okay. Um, he says, on average, how, how much do I play guitar a day? I mean, I kind of already asked, answered that one. Um, Oscar asks, have you ever seen Andy James playing, and what do I think of him? Never even heard of him. <laughs> so, I mean, if you want to send me a link or something, go ahead. No, but I, don't, I have no idea who he is. Um, Danny asks, how do you rate Tom DeLong as a guitar player? If I could spend one day with him, what would I do? I don't rate him as that great of a guitar player. Um, I rate him much better as a songwriter than a guitar player. I think he's a really great songwriter. Um, and he can write some really great lyrics, but he could also write some kind of bad lyrics too. I mean, good lyrics being like Pretty Little Girl, I think the lyrics on that song are really great um, compared to like Good Day from Angels and Airwaves where the lyrics are just not that good at all. Um, if I could spend a whole day with him, I'd just love to see his gear and his studio and stuff because I bet it would be so cool to see that. Um, I've always been really fascinated with all of his stuff. I mean, you can see I got the uh, couple of his uh, strats, um, like replicas, because I've always just loved his guitars. And that's the main reason I started playing guitar in the first place. So that's what I'd like to do. He also asks, if Newfound Glory or Blink-182 needed a backup guitar player, which band would you pick and why? Um, either one would be cool. I mean, I think Blink could really benefit from it the most because they only have one guitar player um, anyway. And as far as I can ever really tell, they don't have like guitar backing tracks that I've noticed. Um, I mean, maybe a little bit, but nothing really all that great. And... So like if Tom's playing something like, yeah, not that, I could be doing like, I don't know, you know, just doing like a different thing that he would be doing on the studio album, um, 
that he could be doing live just to make the performance sound better. Um, and he also says, "What or are you looking forward to the new Taken Back Sunday album? I didn't even know they were recording another album. Um, I don't really follow them all that closely. Um, the last album was a lot better than some of their previous ones. Um, Louder Now is still probably my favorite. Um, but what was that other one? I think it was New Again. Um, I didn't really like all that much. But the last one was good. I mean, I, I'm really surprised how how good that one was. So, I mean, if it's as good as that one, I'll definitely uh, be into it. So, um, I guess this one's a page, not a, uh, a person. Uh, it says, it. this is from Do You Even Pop Punk. It says, are you a fan of Census Fail or post-hardcore in general? Um, I used to be really into Census Fail. Um... If you watch like any of my really old videos, you'll see me playing a few of their songs, mostly from Let It Unfold You or Still Searching. Those are really like the only two albums I liked anyway, and every one after that just seemed to get worse. Um, mainly because their, I don't know what it is, like they're just their sound in general just sounded so bad. Like their guitars sounded like shit. It always just sounded so muddy and it just didn't sound produced very well at all and it just made me not want to listen to it um so i mean i don't know and post hardcore i mean i don't even really know what post hardcore is because i don't really define bands for certain genres i just listen to music so i don't know i guess it depends um what you really call post hardcore so um james says would i ever consider working on a paul gilbert cover um, something from Silence followed by a deafening roar or Get Out of My Heart or Fuzz Universe. Um, I've tried playing some of his stuff. He's just really fucking good. Uh, he is one of my favorite guitar players for a reason. Um, so, I mean, I might be able to remember how to play one of their songs. Let me, let me grab a different guitar. grab this one because I know it's in standard tuning so let's see That's a fun one, but uh, some some point like in the bridge, there's this like ridiculous guitar part that I couldn't figure out. So um, I don't know. It's it's not easy learning Paul Gilbert songs, that's for sure. Um, Alex says, "What's the best concert you've ever been to?" Um, probably Muse. I mean, um, as far as show wise, that concert was fucking amazing. I'm actually seeing Muse again next month, which is going to be really cool. Um, but if, I don't know, Muse, that Muse show that I saw, and then the first time I saw Blink was like two of the best nights of my life. Um, so that was pretty cool. And the final question I have, I don't have any more, um, is from Brad. He asks, would I ever tab a Sammy Hagar song? like marching to mars it's pretty cool i highly 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 doubt it because i fucking hate tabbing songs everybody most most people on my facebook page know i hate tabbing songs and the only time i'm ever really going to tab a song is if it's for a band i really like and it's a song that like just came out um so like the newer like blank doggy dogs eating dogs or I think I might have done some of like the newer New Find Glory. Um, but I mean, there's <laughs> there's no reason for anyone to think that I'm just gonna 
play a Sammy Hagar song because, I mean, it doesn't fit with my channel anyway. I mean, I would feel like you'd be better off asking someone else that already plays Sammy Hagar songs and Van Halen and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm just, I don't know. It, it's kind of a weird question. I'm, I don't plan on doing that, so sorry. <laughs> So that's the last question I have. Hopefully this fucking video uploads or I'm going to be pissed off. Um, so that's all I really got. So uh, thanks for watching and um, hopefully I'll have a new amp soon because I did sell the orange. This is what I'm using right now. Just the, uh, the PV with the orange cab. So keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm, I'm looking at some, uh, some amps right now. So it's going to be a few bucks. So see you later.